Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the whole idea of tapping into other people's blessings, okay? <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I'm laughing, but this idea of when people post things on social media, us wanting to, you know, have what they have, or praying to have what they have, or, you know, basically just tapping into their blessings. But before we get into all of that, I want to show you guys the star of today's video, and that is this headband wig from Girls Glow hair collection you guys know that me and headband wigs we are five and six so yeah so this is the box i think this is very cute okay and behind it is written girls glow from hair to toe okay um yeah so let me just open up the box and show you what the wig looks like inside it you have the headband wig okay and then you have different headbands this is animal skin this is um vintage pattern and this is butterfly pattern and it also comes with a wig cap i don't know if i'll be needing this wig cap today i think i will um yeah and then this card this headband wig is actually malaysian hair it is straight it is 26 inches and it is 150 percent density yeah so it's really straight let me bring it out of the package so you guys can see this. Ooh, I'm in love with it already. <laughs> you guys know I love long hair, okay? And I love headband wig. So this is just perfect. Ooh, that's it. That's the hair. Can you guys see this? This is so silky and beautiful. It's a headband wig. So this comes with the headband and the combs to secure it in. And this adjustable strap so that you can you know strap it around your hair and these combs that i always tell you guys is very important uh, but let me go ahead now and lay my edges because i like to leave my edges out whenever i wear headband wigs it looks you know more natural that way although if you don't have your edges out like if your edges are not laid or you don't want to show your edges you can actually just use this headband to cover it and wear a headband like a proper headband around it okay or just leave this band around this Whenever I'm very busy and I'll be going around a lot, I love reaching for my headband wigs because they are easy to wear, easy to just go, and they are pulled back from your face, so you don't really get headband wigs that are disturbing your face or flying in your lipstick or stuff like that. <laughs> That's one thing I love headband wigs for, so if you're a busy mom or you're just busy and you have so many errands to run and stuff like that, you don't need to start, you know, trying to lay your wig or, you know, melt your lace and all of that. All you just need to do is pop your headband wig on your head and you just be going like and you will look pink okay you will look pink anyway um yeah so let me lay my edges now while i talk to you guys about this whole idea of tapping into other people's blessings okay So I've laid my edges. It was just a simple process. I didn't even need to do much. Um, yeah, I've laid my edges. So let me go ahead and put the wig on my head. So this is the full length of the band, but I'm just going to fold it a bit just so that it can expose my edges. Um, you can put the hair backwards, but I like to put it a little bit close to the front just because I have a large forehead. So <laughs> I like to put it a little bit close to the front. But yeah, that's it. That's the hair. Um, oh, I like this sleek look like so even though this is actually, you know, silky straight It still looks like my hair like I straightened my hair doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so this is quite beautiful I don't have any product on this hair. This is just how it is straight from the back. This is basically bone straight Yeah, this is basically bone straight So silky so beautiful Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is the length of the hair Ooh, I like this. So the details on how to purchase this hair are going to be in the description box. So you guys should just go and check it out. I actually love how sleek it is. It's kind of hair that you can just wear to walk, wear to run around, you know, just wear it anywhere and it looks good. But yeah, let me go ahead and straighten it a little bit. Okay, so the chat for today, which is about tapping into other people's blessings. I've seen this trend of social media where 
people are beginning to say things like especially when a bad news comes out about a celebrity or a couple that people admire people go ahead and comment things like all of you that like tapping into people's blessings be careful what to tap into or when something is posted online about you know someone acquired a new car or someone acquired a new house or someone got this and got that you guys know what they post on social media now all those pepper them kind of posts <laughs> You know, I'll see people in the comment section saying things like those of you that are tapping into this blessing, those of you that are saying God when, those of you that are, you know, longing for these things, that people should be careful what you long for. You don't know what the person has done to get it. You don't know what the person has done to, you know, to acquire this. You don't know what the person is suffering behind closed doors that they don't tell you about. So basically, you should be careful when you're tapping into people's blessings and all of that gist. And yeah. yeah and for the longest time it made sense to me i might have even said that one or two times i don't remember saying it but i'm sure maybe i have commented something with that, uh, to that regard or i have said it indirectly or something i just know that it sounds like something that makes sense to me or it sounded like something that made sense to me but if you guys have been watching me for a while you know that i'm not someone who follows the crowd i'm someone who likes to think things through if they make sense for me i adopt them if they don't make sense for me i discard it okay so i started thinking about it i'm not like but what are we saying like how why is tapping into someone's blessing a bad thing like you're tapping into the person's blessing you're not tapping into whatever else is going on in the person's life okay so for me i don't think it's wrong for me to say oh i admire this person's marriage i admire this person's you know um achievement or whatever it is that they are showing i admire this i want it for myself why is it wrong like can someone explain to me why that is wrong to tap into someone else's blessing i mean you're happy for the person and you want it for yourself as well you are tapping into that thing that you are seeing you're not tapping into the person's whole entire life if that was a, a tapping into it, then your own case is different. If you are saying, oh, I wish this person's entire life is mine, or I wish I'm exactly this person, then that's when it's a problem. But if you are, you know, hoping or praying for something nice that somebody else has, why is that a bad thing, you know? So, when I say people saying things like, ah, don't tap into it though, you don't know, you don't know what's going on, you don't know whether her husband is beating her, you don't know whether the money was gotten illegitimately, uh, you don't know this, you don't know. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's how I just feel about that whole, you know, talk of be careful what you tap into, be careful this, be careful that. I'm just like, why? <laughs> why should I be careful? Ooh. I have a fan on behind me, so if the hair is shaking, just know that it's the fan that is blowing the hair. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see this. This is the straighten part. Oh, this looks good. Let me see it in the mirror. I beg, allow people to tap into what they want to tap into, okay? Whatever it is people want to tap into, they should be allowed <laughs> to tap into it in peace. And I think we should also stop this. I don't know, I'm sure I'm guilty of it as well. We should also stop this thing of saying social media is not real, people are faking it on social media, social media is not real, you know, you don't know what people are hiding. I think we should stop saying that, okay? I mean, I've, I've actually stopped saying that because at the end of the day, except you can verify that this person is actually lying, what they are showing is what they are showing. Yeah, of course, they're not showing all aspects of their life, so it doesn't mean that their life, because they are showing when they are happy, doesn't mean that they're never sad, okay? But you don't expect them to carry camera and be snapping each other or be videoing each other when they are, when they are sad. Okay, so I think that that talk of uh, social media is not real, social media is not real, I don't think that thing really makes sense. I feel like it makes us kind of bitter, I don't know. I feel like saying that it makes people sound bitter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but to me, it sounds like we are jealous or we are envious of people or I don't know, we don't want to be happy for other people. We want to console ourselves by psyching ourselves and telling ourselves that it's not real people cannot be that happy people cannot be that rich without doing something diabolical or something you know um sinister or something you know fraudulent to get such wealth um, people cannot be that beautiful they must have had enhanced their body one way or the other people or even if they enhance their body that's the only thing we want to talk about ah her boobs are fake, her butt is fake, her dick, like that's the only thing we want to talk about. Whenever the person comes up, we want to point out that it's not real, it's not real, you know, it's her surgeon, it's her doctor. <laughs> I just thought about it recently and I was like, 
Talking like this only to make us sound like we're just angry. Like you just want, you just don't want to be happy for anybody. We want to always just point out that this person that you are saying is happy. She's not really happy, yo. Eh? Like you know how they say misery love misery loves company. I feel like it's kind of sounds like that sometimes when people try to say don't happen to it though ah you don't know that this one eh, eh, eh. are you there <laughs> you were not there you don't even know the true story forget what people say on social media a lot of people are actually happy in real life a lot of people are happy with their marriage a lot of people are happy in their homes a lot of people are making so much money through legitimate means a lot of people are actually blessed and it cannot be reversed <laughs> you know so yeah you always want to look for the negative side or the downside to it I don't think it's right, okay? Well, personally, for me, I'm changing my mindset towards things like that. Anything I see that is nice and is good, I'm going to tap into it, okay? It doesn't mean I'm tapping into the person's negative part or whatever. I don't want to know the backstory. I'm tapping into the story that I'm, I'm seeing, okay? Oh, this woman bought a Rolls Royce for her husband. I tap into it. I'm going to buy a Rolls Royce for my husband. That's it. I don't want to know whether he's the one that gave her the money to buy it. Or I don't want to know whether, oh, she just bought it for social media. She borrowed the money or this. I don't want to know. I'm tapping into the story that I'm seeing there. I'm not looking at the backstory. I don't want to know the backstory because it really has nothing to do with me. Um, so yeah, this hair is very fine. It's very silky and very shiny. But I want to add a little bit of um, hair polisher. Just a little bit, very little. Let me show you guys. I put very little. This is just all. This is just all I'm going to use for the whole hair. I'm using this Vitaly Olive Oil Hair Polisher. So I rub it on my hand and then just try and slick the hair down with it. Are you guys seeing how the hair is shiny? Ooh. All right, guys, I am done styling my hair. How do I look? Do you guys like this hair? Ooh, I feel like I look very cute. Okay, cute is the word. Okay, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about our talk for today. And again, this hair is from Girls Glow. Okay, the details are going to be in the description box. It's 26 inches, 150 density, silky straight hair, Malaysian, silky straight Malaysian hair. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Oh,